To say that Sicily isn't Italy is trite but true. Only three kilometers separate the island from the Italian mainland, but the historical and cultural gap is far greater. Locals see themselves as Sicilians first and Italians a firm second, a difference that is instantly noticeable from language to cuisine, from architecture to landscapes. At the heart of the Mediterranean, some of the Western world's richest civilizations have left their mark, from ancient temples to stunning churches. Sicily is one of the most culturally rich places on earth. Welcome to Sicily by Ape. The journey starts here in Cianciana, a small town in southwest Sicily. Luke met his half Sicilian wife, Emmanuelle, almost a decade ago whilst teaching in the north of Italy. The two, with their son, now live in Cianciana, where his late mother in law's family originates from. The plan is simple. Luke is going to attempt to drive his 40-year-old, three-wheeled Italian truck over a thousand kilometers circumnavigating the island of Sicily. This is a solo trip. No film crew, no fancy budget, just Luke, his camera and his three-wheeled Ape. It's a crazy idea, but it's sure to be a great adventure. All right, we are officially on the road. Just leaving Chinchana, day one of the journey. The plan is, well, we've been off to a late start. I, uh, unfortunately I had COVID and then we had a big thunderstorm that passed through. So I'm only, today was kind of all over the place. The last couple days have been kind of a mad rush just to get everything packed up and, and figured out and worked out. But we are, we're on the road now headed to Agrigento. It's an absolutely stunning day. It's around 70 degrees. It's about 11 o'clock, like I said, off to a bit of a late start, but we're cruising. Sicily has a richer and more eventful past than any of the other islands dotted around the Mediterranean. Its strategic importance made it the constant prey of conquerors, many of whom contributed to the island's rich artistic heritage, whilst also having a significant impact on architecture, cuisine, and even language.
those of you keeping track, keeping score, uh, I've killed two bees and I've been <laughs> stung once. So these these windows are, uh, they're lovely because you get a really great breeze, but at the moment with it being, especially right after the thunderstorm, everything is so green and all the bugs are out. And uh, yeah, I already got stung once. So currently the score is two to one. So far, the Ape's done great, which has been really good, because this is kind of one of the hilliest, hilliest sections um, that I think I'll be doing from Chinchana to Agrigento through Raffadali. It's quite a, kind of a hilly section. I've got so many bugs in here. So yeah, we're just gonna put in some miles. We've been going for almost an hour. We're not that far. Uh, mainly because this is one of the most beautiful little valleys in It's one of my favorite drives. So I've been wanting to get some good footage of it The beauty of Punta Bianca is the white color of the rock and its soft, wave-like form that has been shaped by the sea over the centuries. Similar to the natural steps of the cliffs further up the coast at the more popular and widely visited Turkish steps. This off-the-beaten location is quite unique due to the ancient barracks of the Guardia di Finanza, the financial police. The structure built in stone and now completely abandoned intertwines nature and history in a sublime location and a prime piece of real estate. What a fun adventure. Just something I'm definitely not gonna forget.
I guess I haven't really talked about why I'm doing this or what the point is or what the idea even is yet. The idea is to drive the Ape and circumnavigate Sicily. Over the last several years, I've been documenting a lot of other people's adventures. I've been the one who's filming them, putting them together, and as much as that has been fantastic and a lot of fun and, and, and it's taken me to some amazing places around the world, what I lost was my own adventures. I, I haven't gone on any adventures of my own in, in a couple years. I've done a lot of traveling and I've been, this is by no means a complaint. I'm inc I've been incredibly blessed to do a lot of really cool things, but I hadn't done an adventure that was like my idea where I'm the one adventuring, where I'm the one going and just exploring and testing myself and seeing just what happens kind of thing. So the cool thing with this is so many people have done things with Vespas or with the Fiat 500s or there's a lot of classic Italian cars and boats and stuff that people have done all sorts of cool things with. But I've never seen somebody do a big trip in an Ape. It, this is a Piaggio Ape, uh, Ape meaning B in Italian, which is ironic that I got stung today as well. But as my beautiful wife put it, I think it's a good omen. So <laughs> uh, it started off the trip in a fun way. And yeah, the plan is, it, this is a, the plan is pretty simple, just to try to see how far I can go. I don't really have lots of lockdown plans. I have camping gear and stuff to camp if, if need be, like tonight I'm probably gonna camp, to be honest, probably somewhere right around here. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of going with the flow and, and seeing what happens. And um, you know, the nice thing is that the Ape can only go so fast, which I think is a beautiful correlation to just life here. Life here, they say piano piano, which is like slowly, slowly, like no rush. And I love that. You take your time. You just, there's a fullness to each day as far as there's no rush. It's not how do I get to the next thing faster? And so that's also part of it is that this can only go so fast, which means I can only go so fast, which means I have to take my time. I have to look around, enjoy it, see it, smell it. That's pretty much it. Day one was kind of, um, day one was successful in a lot of ways, unsuccessful in some ways. Uh, I mean, I didn't get, I didn't leave Chinchana till, you know, 11, 1130 really. So it was kind of only a half day, but um, I'm excited to see what day two holds and see what see what it has to offer